everybody. This is Mr. Crandall. We are on day four, page five, week one of our packet, and we're going to be learning about Alexander Graham Bell, the man who invented the telephone. Here's a picture of Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell was a Scottish inventor. In fact, here was what the very first telephone looked like. And as you can see, it doesn't look anything like a telephone nowadays. In fact, here is a timeline of how telephones have changed over time. If you'll notice up here, it says the evolution of the telephone. That means how the telephone has changed over time. And in the speech bubble right up here at the top, it says, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. That is actually supposedly the first thing that was ever said into a telephone. If you want to, you can pause this video and look at these pictures a little bit longer. You can see that at first, telephones had a lot of wires. But nowadays, telephones don't have wires anymore. Or at least, they don't have a lot of wires. They usually have a wire that lets you charge the phone. Let's begin. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Happy birthday, Alexander Graham Bell. About 140 years ago, the telephone didn't exist. People had few options for sending messages over long distances. They could write a letter. They could send a telegram using Morse code. But they could not speak their message. Alexander Graham Bell changed that forever. Bell was born in Scotland on March 3, 1847, but later moved to the United States. His father was a speech teacher. His mother was hearing impaired. Bell became a teacher at a school for deaf students. Just a reminder, a speech teacher helps people learn to speak. Someone who is hearing impaired means they have trouble hearing, and a deaf student means that they can't hear at all. And he married a woman who was deaf, which means that she couldn't hear either. Since childhood, Bell loved to tinker and invent. As an adult, he worked with sound. He knew that speech created sound waves. He tried to make electric waves match the sound waves. Soon, he invented the telephone. Today's telephones have changed greatly, just like we saw in that picture. We no longer need wires to carry signals. But it all began with Alexander Graham Bell's telephone. What is the purpose of the text? To tell how telephones long ago and today are alike and different? Hmm, I don't know. Does it talk a lot about telephones long ago and nowadays? No, only a little bit, so it can't be that one. To tell about a person who lived long ago and his invention? Well, it does talk about Alexander Graham Bell and what he made. Let's see, does it teach readers to respect? It says so respect, but it's supposed to say to respect. To teach readers to respect people from Scotland? It doesn't really talk about respecting people from Scotland, but if you meet someone from Scotland, you should respect them. You should respect people that you meet from any country. D, to explain how telephones work. It doesn't really tell us how telephones work. It talks about that they turn electri uh, sound waves into electrical waves, but how, they don't explain how. I think the letter B is probably the correct answer. To tell about a person, Alexander Graham Bell, who lived long ago, and his invention, the telephone. How did Alexander Graham Bell's early life probably influence his work? Well, we can see there's a lot of things that probably influenced it. Let's see. His father taught people how to make sounds and speak. His mom had trouble hearing. He worked in a school for deaf students. And he married a woman who was deaf. It sounds like he had a lot of experience with sound. And we can see right here, when he grew up, he worked with sound. So. How did his early life probably influence his later work? Well, just for one example, his father helped people make correct sounds. And this, and I'll move this up so you can see it. This and this may have led Bell, Bell to work with sound. I'm going to make it smaller so it'll fit, and then I'll move it up a little bit. Still doesn't fit. Let's move it up a little bit more. There we go. His father helped people make correct sounds, and this may have led Bell to work with sound. 
Next one. What do you think the word tinker means? See it, and we can see that right here. It says, since childhood, Bell loved to tinker. Bell loved to tinker and invent. I'm trying to highlight it, but it's not going. There it is. Tinker and invent. Hmm, I wonder what the word tinker means. Number four. How has communication changed over time? Remember, if you see this little crayon, it means they when you find it, you gotta highlight it. All right, friends, this was day, oh, remember, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, and I'm going to make up a quick song about that right now. Ring, 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 Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Ring, 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 Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Ring, 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 ring. All right, friends, this was day four, week five, sorry, day four, page five, week one of our packet. Have a great day.